Today's topic is the kidney. The two bean-shaped organs located on the left and right sides of the abdomen. They are about 11 centimeters, or 4.3 inches long, in adults. They receive blood from the paired renal arteries. The blood is then filtered and wastes are removed alongside salt, sugar, and minerals are adjusted. The filtered blood is returned to the body and the waste is converted into urine. Each kidney is connected to a ureter, a tube that transports the urine into the bladder at the kidney's pelvis. Kidney diseases often affect both kidneys. If the kidney's ability to filter blood is hindered, waste and excess fluids build up in the body, resulting in abnormalities which do not give symptoms until late in the course of the disease. These diseases develop slowly over time and cause progressive loss of the kidney's function. Some common kidney diseases are high blood pressure, blood or protein in the urine, diabetes, kidney stone, urinal tract infection, glomerulonephritis, while some are inherited. Anatomy. Three external layers make up the kidney, and they include the renal capsule, the innermost layer, renal fascial, the outermost layer. The kidneys are covered by the renal capsule, an outermost covering made up of fibrous connective tissue. This tissue prevents the entrance of infections. Two layers of fat are attached to the surface of the kidney to help cushion them. They are known as the adipose capsule. The adrenal gland is found sitting on top of each kidney. The right kidney is slightly lower than the left kidney, and the left kidney is more centralized than the right. This is due to the asymmetry within the abdominal cavity caused by the liver. Lower ribs protect the upper part of the kidney. Some important structures connect the kidney to the rest of the body. The renal veins that take blood to the vena cava and the renal artery that supplies blood to the kidney. The renal helium is the point of entrance and exit of the veins, arteries, and nerves that supply the kidney. The internal layers of the kidney are made up of nephrons. Parts. There are three major parts of the kidney. They include the renal cortex, the renal cortex, the renal medulla, and the renal pelvis. The kidneys are enclosed by a renal cortex, a layer of tissue covered by the renal capsule and the renal fascia. The cortex provides a space for the hormones from the renal artery and vein to diffuse the nephrons of the kidney. A hormone necessary for the synthesis of new red blood cells is also produced in the renal cortex. The renal medulla. The renal medulla is the inner region of the kidney. The structures inside the renal medulla are known as the renal pyramid. The renal medulla has about 27 to 30 pyramids with each pyramid containing tens of thousands of nephrons. The renal pelvis. The hilum is contained in the renal pelvis. The hilum serves as an exit and entrance point for nerves and blood vessels. It also serves as a point of exit to the uterus. This layer connects the kidney with the other part of the kidney. Functions. Blood pressure regulation. Removal of toxins and drugs. Excretion of metabolic waste. Regulation of osmotic pressure in the body. Balances the body fluids controls the production of red blood cell, produces vitamin D, which promotes strong and healthy bones. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.